it's time to get started on the interior. Okay, so here's the um, trim kit which I purchased from Newton Commercial in the UK. So I just purchased it directly from them and then got it shipped to Australia. Um, so that's just an overview of some of the parts there. And uh, in the kit, it's come with, um, that's the parcel shelf board. They actually sent um, two sets of um, the dash trim. So one is for an oval speedo, one is obviously for a round, but um, but the, the kit I bought said it only came with the oval one, that's what I had. So that's, I don't know if that's gonna be any use though. Um, the other things it's got are the actual door cards. So they're for the front doors. These are for the rear panels. And I'll just show you on one of them what they're like. So the actual vinyl is, um, it has um, a lot of sponge underneath and it's been, um, it looks like they use some sort of heat press to get these um, lines into it. So that's what that looks like. On the other side, you can sort of see the um, masonite board. And then the edges, they, um, they throw some adhesive on here trim it down and they might press it down again. Um, so these actually come with the holes for the door opener and the wind window winder. There's these other holes here. Um, they need to have some sort of clip. I've got to investigate what I need for those. And then that, they go into holes on the body. Um, I still need to figure out what actually holds the rest of it in. There is a little uh, metal bar inside the door pocket. So I think that might be what holds the rest of it in there so that's what the back looks like um, and the rear panels they're sort of a similar thing as well they look like that so just to go over a few pieces I'll just quickly show you um, because the main purpose of this video is to see how it gets installed but the um, this is the the dash front dash um, Piece. So that is it's nice thick sort of foam underneath the vinyl. I don't know whether they um, it comes like that or they stick the foam to the vinyl. That's probably what happens. So that's a nice piece there. Um, the other parts, those pieces over here, the vinyl, they go over the um, the rear wheel. Uh, these bits here are for the door pockets, the liners for the front doors, and these are the liners for the rear. Um, compartment boxes so it's got the little um the dots on there for the um, ashtray so I'll remove that inside bit because I've got the ashtrays to fit in there uh, the other thing it comes with is a roll of um, vinyl this is to do the dash rails but I've already done those but it's always good to have some extra as a spare okay so the first part I'm going to install is the parcel shelf and if you've been following me along, you'll remember that when I did the headlining, um, there was some fabric left over from that. So I've used that to cover this section here on the rear of the parcel shelf. Um, the, uh, the These C-pillar cards, they went in okay. Um, so let's just give that a go and just I'll try and fit that in. So... It doesn't appear that this needs to be uh, fixed down because I think the seat, once the seat goes on, it will sort of press against it and hold it in place. So it's just a case of just getting it to sit in there. Alright, so that's the parcel or the rear parcel shell put in. So there's a bit of a gap here where you can see the metal and over here as well. Um, but I'm hoping that the seat is actually going to cover that because I can't see why it wouldn't. Alright, let's have a look at something else. Okay, so there's the, um, the parcel shelf. I don't, it doesn't look like you can see it that well, but uh, if I go over this way. I just don't want to open up the garage door because I sort of live near a busy park and there's a lot of people walking by all the time and I, every time I have the door open, people come up and want to have a look. I mean, I don't mind, but I'm sort of a bit busy trying to get stuff done. So that's sort of how that fits in there. Okay, so there you can sort of see the gap in that bit there and then in that corner there. Uh, so they're the only bits I was concerned with. So I'm just going to check out the seats. 
So it's a bit difficult to see here, but these are the old seats that I'm going to get covered. And there's like there's a, a, a big distance that sort of overlaps onto the parcel shelf. So I'm sure that whole section uh, actually will cover the parcel shelf, those bits that were exposed. So that shouldn't be an issue. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the left-hand side completed now. And what I'm going to do, now that I've figured out how it all fits together, um, it's a bit of a struggle for some bits, and I'll explain the tips I've done, but that's how it's looking. It's got the um, door pocket liner in there as well, and the ashtray. So I'm going to get started on the right-hand side, and then just show you the process. Okay, so here's the right-hand side. Um, you'll notice that I've got this uh, metal retaining strip that's in there already, and that has just been put on with some pop rivets. Um, this actual metal strip is actually the piece that goes on the actual driver's door but um, my um, spare part supplier didn't have any available and I couldn't track down one from anywhere else. So whether or not the angle is slightly different because on the, um, on the left hand side what I needed to do is just use a screwdriver and sort of just bend, bend it up slightly because otherwise the angle is okay, it's just the actual opening. Um, it just needs to be opened up a little bit just to help the... Um, the, the board get in there properly. All right, um, one thing that came with the um, box of bits and pieces that came with the car, um, the previous owner sort of made these um, like templates for door cards and the trim cards. So I'll sort of show you how this fits because this is a lot more flexible than the um, Newton commercial door cards. So the way it works, you sort of got to get this corner in first. I actually should mention that you put the, um, the vinyl that goes on there, that goes on there first. But I'll just demonstrate how you get these in. So the, the base of it needs to be flush against the panel. And this little bit here hooks into where the ashtray is. And then, so you need to make sure you get this corner, that edge, sort of right in that gap. And then once it's in there, you're sort of this this goes in a lot easier than the panel and you, you apply pressure to this section here and then that'll make it sort of curve and then it sort of hooks into there nicely so that, that went in very easily but the actual panel Newton commercial panels are a struggle to get in but that that is pretty much how you get that piece in so I'll take it out and then we'll test fit the Newton commercial panel okay so this um, piece of vinyl that's just going to sit in there sort of like that and on the left hand side I didn't glue it in and the reason why it's because um, if I want to install seatbelts in the rear an engineer sort of needs to lift that up and drill the holes through here um, and then yeah that way if, it, if I want to change things I don't have to uh, get things out easier so this seam sort of lines up with this um, slit here and what I had to do on the left hand side was trim this excess off because there was just too much here and it's getting in the way of the panel when it slides in that gap. But what I'll do, I'll leave it there for now and just see if I can see how it all sort of fits in. Just one little tip I did on the other side, I used a bit of black electrical tape just to put over these little sections here where it's a, it's a bit tight. Um, it's just so it's not going to damage the vinyl and once it's in you can just pull, it, pull this out. So that'll protect those bits. So you want to sort of hook that bit in and then try and get this corner in all the way. That actually seems like it's fitting a lot better than the other side. 
Right, the height here is still a bit too much, but this side seems a lot better. Okay, so the next thing we need to do now is prepare this, um, the pocket liner. Um, now, my Cooper S has got ashtrays here, so what I need to do is remove this bit of cardboard. Uh, be, be careful when you're cutting that out. You don't want to cut straight through to the vinyl. I mean, it probably wouldn't be an issue because the ashtray will cover it, but what I want to do is just cut out that section and then cut the vinyl like that along there and then to the corners. And then that way it sort of folds in when I put the ashtray in there. Okay, so the next step is now to get the folds put in here. So I've got that cut out now, ready for the ashtray. So the first fold we want to do is all of these edge pieces. And they need to fold down like that. So the black side is up, these go down, but I'll just flip it over. It's easier to do it from this side. Uh, this crease here, it needs to be folded there. And then of course the top here folded along there. Okay, let's get that installed. You'll find that it's pretty wide, so it's not going to go in like that. Uh, you have to sort of put it in at an angle. Uh, let's go that way. And you sort of get this corner here into where it needs to go first. And then we can bring it down. So now we need to install this bit of trim. So that little um, clip, if you just slide it into the end, it'll stay there.
when you get this on, get this bit done first. Because that's the the bit that needs to go on. If you do have a few more clips, put use a few more because I'll keep it on there. Uh, you might need to even trim the, the card a bit because that it is a bit tight around here. But apart from that, that seems okay. I sort of wipe down these um marks I've just put on it. Okay, so there we go, that's that bit done. Alright, just one other tip as well. When you're installing this card, if you're having difficulties where it is too tight, and I'll just show you on this one, around that section there, what I actually sort of did to soften that material a bit, I'll put that on the edge of the bench and sort of just lightly tap it with a mallet, just to sort of um, get this edge, the, the edge of the wood inside, just to get it in a bit looser and softer, just so it can compress and just get in that little tiny little bit more that it needed to be able to stretch in there. So just like tap it gently with a mallet around that edge, on the edge of a bench, and then that sort of helps it get in better. All right, so what I'm gonna get started on now is the the dash trim, um, and this is the Newton Commercial uh, website, and they've got a article that sort of explains how you do it. So um, some the later model minis, so Mark III onwards, you need to add these extra platforms into the dash before you put the um, the actual uh, liner on. So the dash liner goes on first, and you can see that the, it doesn't go directly to the back. There are parts where the um, where the like you've got things in the way, um, the, the ducts and so on. So that sort of sits in there. Uh, you then put the actual panels in. So if you notice these little bits with the flaps on it, they, they these flaps here they bend forwards because they um, tuck underneath the actual um, top dash rail. So it seems like you slide the bottom in first and then sort of get the top into the position. And then once you've got that in there, it's a case of just um, fixing up the ends. So I don't know whether, yeah, I might need to trim mine too, but the actual um, the door trim should hold it all in place. I think they do recommend to glue it, but because um, of the early stage of the build, I'm worried that I might need to remove them for some reason and put them back in. So I don't I'd want to avoid gluing it at this stage. And there it is there finished. So I'll get started on that and see how we go. So I'll just talk you through where we're at with this um, dash at the moment. So I've previously installed that and like some bits of it aren't perfect, but there's always the chance that I can redo that at a later stage, but it's in there now, it's okay. Um, if you look at it at a glance, you won't notice any imperfections, but there are a few little imperfections. Um, the other thing, I've installed the um, Mark I heater now. So that's all connected up nicely. So the switch, I think this switch direction is the wrong way around, but the actual um, position that it can fit into, there's a little slit and it goes in one way. So that's just a replacement switch. So I'll have to live with that. I can modify it if I need to, but that'll do for now. And then that works. So that's car, the, the air comes out of here and the bottom. When it's onto screen, it goes up through the tubes. Now, these are not Mark I um, ducts and vents I've used. Um, the hence why there's a bit of duct tape on there. It's probably the first time I've actually used duct tape for ducts. Uh, so I don't know, so that doesn't fit flush against there. So I don't even know whether this is going to work, but we'll try it anyway. Um, because the original Mark I ducts, the opening sort of is here, and then it sort of goes down towards in that corner, so it doesn't take up as much room. And then on the other side, of course, there's only a large opening for the fresh air vent, but there's no smaller one for the duct to go through. So I, I don't know how that actually goes in there. So how I've, how I've done it there, that's sort of just a guess based on how I think it should go. So the first thing I need to do is um, fix this rail on there, but I'll before I fix that on, I'll have a play with the liner and see how that fits.
So the next thing to do is obviously get the door cards done. So this is the left hand door and I have um, finished that one already. Um, I just want to point out a few things. So it's meant to have a screw through here and a screw through here. Um, I've, at the moment I haven't put them in because it's, it seems to hold itself in. Uh, there's a pocket liner, which I'll just show you down the bottom. That pocket liner presses against the, the wall of the door card and the pocket. That helps to keep it in place as well. And also these two screw down. Uh, I think one thing you're meant to put underneath these is a, a felt washer. So at some point I'll redo that again. But apart from that, it wasn't that tricky to get in at all. Um, so I'm going to get started on the other side and then record the process. Okay, so the first thing I've done, I've disconnected the, um, the door um, stay thingo and I have put some masking tape just on the edge of the door card here because that's one place that can rub. Um, there's a little um, piece here with two screw holes that hold down the trim, uh, hold down the, um, the pocket liner. I, I didn't actually put the screws in on the other side, it just it held, holds in on its own. But I'll just put a bit of tape on there just so that bit of metal doesn't cut into the door card when we insert it. Uh, the other issue I had on the other side is that the holes cut in the actual card for the winder and the opener. Um, or the one for the winder was fine, but one for the opener, I just needed to shift the position a bit. But maybe this side, just how it's adjusted, it will be okay. So these door cards come with a hole already made in them and these two are for the two plastic clips that sort of, if you have a look on this um, screen here, there's a couple of plastic cl clips that go behind these two bits here. Um, I didn't need to put them on the left hand side because it sort of holds itself in place. Uh, and then there's also two screws here but there's no holds for those two. Apart from in the door they're just self tapping screws. but. I haven't needed to put them on the left hand side, but we'll see how this side goes. Uh, so if you look back down again now, I just need to modify this hole because it's it needs to sort of come about to here, out there. So the way they get these holes in there, and I'll just show you the kit, full um hollow punches. Now that's what they look like as a hollow punch, you just put that on there, hit it with a hammer and make a hole. Now, because this has already been covered in the trim, it's you, you could use that if you wanted to, but it wouldn't be recommended because you're going to end up damaging the trim. So if you're making your own door cards, it's probably an option. Uh, but this material isn't very difficult to cut, and I'm just I'll mark that out with a Stanley knife, and then just use a pair of pliers to sort of pull up that section.
sort out now is the actual door pocket liner and the way this gets folded so you'll notice at this end there's a curved end and a straight bit that straight bit goes against the door liner so that these two edges they need to be folded in and you'll notice that this has got like a, a seam press it looks different on that side compared to there but they both I believe and the way I did the left hand side was both bend them both upwards sort of like that Just sort of show you how that's sitting in there so that's nice and um tight in there so it's pushed down to the bottom uh, i just need to fix up oh no that's fine there that little corner is pressed against there you can if you want put two screw holes in here i'm not going to for the time being and overall the actual panel is sort of holding itself on okay it, it at this stage it doesn't need to have the screws in here and if you wanted to do that you could but it's totally up to you um, one issue is like it's slightly lower here so I might have to play around with it and I've got the ability to just bring it up slightly make it sit in there a bit better but okay so just to finish up I'll just give you a quick whiz around just so you can see how everything is looking and then that last pocket Alright, so hopefully um, these videos will help you um, understand how to actually install it. So in the total amount of time it took to install this, I would say uh, like at least 8 hours. So it's taken longer because I have to figure out how to do it. But if you were watching these videos and then doing it yourself, it would be a lot quicker. Alright, so I'll leave it there. And thank you for watching my videos.